Hi, Ben here from Moco Toolbox. I'm excited to show you a few new additions to my motion control lineup. We have a slider with tilt, pan, and focus. It's designed to have more versatile applications in comparison to a typical TPS slider. Also, I'm going to show you a new stepper motor multi-connection box. Some of you may already be familiar with my stop motion motion control kit. That kit is designed for motion control on the object side. With this slider, we can have motion control on the camera side with the same versatility and adjustability that all my products offer. They can fit right to your needs for any specific projects. This camera slider is, consists of three separate modules and each module can have multiple applications. First, we have the tilt head, which is mounted on the pan base with a quick release clamp. Also, the camera bracket is mounted on the tilt head with a quick release clamp. It can be adjusted according to the camera height. The tilt head is a powerful tilting mechanism that can be used for different purposes. The motor is a NEMA 17 in this version, but it can be easily switched with a NEMA 23. All the screw holes are already on the body and you can easily replace the motor with the NEMA 23 if you need more torque on the spinning end. The tilt head has a quick release plate, but if you take it out, you can use this slot however it's needed. Then we have the pan base. The pan base is attached to the slider with three M5 screws. We can easily dismount the head from the slider and use it separately, whether as a pan base attached to any rig, whether upright or upside down, or we can use it as a turntable. And that's a great thing about this pan base. We can attach four legs to it. And by adding this top plate on top of the pan base, we can have a nice turntable with threaded holes on the top. We have four M5 threaded holes and four M3. The M3 holes are compatible with a flange coupler, so I can attach a coupler and, for example, add a rod for any purpose, maybe putting something on the very top without having the base visible on camera or any other purposes. The legs are adjustable and the mounting holes are all compatible with metric aluminum extrusion standards. So these are each 20 millimeters away from each other, so you can easily mount it using aluminum extrusions to any rig or structure on your set. The pan head also uses a NEMA 17 stepper motor, which is so easy to drive with any kind of controller and driver you usually use. And finally, we have the slider. The slider is built based on 2020 aluminum extrusions. Again, very versatile and easy to use. Aluminum extrusions give you endless possibilities to mount the slider however you want. You can also change the length of the slider according to your need by just replacing the extrusion bars to the desired length. And the only thing you need to change is the timing belt. So you can use the same mechanism for different lengths of a slider. The plate has multiple threaded holes, so you can use it to mount the pan base and the tilt or anything else on your set. So this slider doesn't have to be used with a camera. It can be used for objects on a set as well. This slider is based on a NEMA 17 stepper motor and all this can be used with the controllers that I built or any kind of controller that you have. You are not limited to just one ecosystem. And lastly, I have the redesigned motorized focus puller. It's based on NEMA 17 stepper motor again. So this is a really easy to use focus motor to use with any sort of controller. One of the main concepts that I like to keep in mind when designing a product is versatility and adjustability of the product. You shouldn't be trapped in one ecosystem. And that's why I use regular stepper motors and connections in all my products so you can decide where you want to use it with what controller, what driver, maybe you have a system that built yourself, maybe you want to add this system to an existing motion control rig that you have. So all the Mocha Toolbox products are built on very accessible stepper motors. In this regard, compatibility between connectors is one of the main limitations for using devices across different platforms. That's why I've created this stepper motor multi-connector box. 
This box has different connectors. It comes with standard pin header, which is a standard for many NEMA 17 motors when you buy a motor, for example, of Amazon. It has one RG45 connector that supports two stepper motors, screw terminals, again for two stepper motors, and two 5-pin XLRs. 5-pin XLRs are now very common among motion control users. That's why I've created this stepper motor multi-connector box. All these items along with a few more are now available on Moco Toolbox website. If you are looking for versatile, customizable, and reliable motion control rigs and devices, please check out the website. Let me know in the comments section if you have any questions or send me an email. Thank you for watching.